In this video I'm going to show you how you configure FMU Server to enable it to receive emails. So you will get an email address, you can email it anything you want at that email address and FMU Server consumes the email and then you can hook up a workspace essentially to that email and then process the data or do whatever you want with the information in the email. So I'm going to use an FME Cloud Machine here to um, to show you how this works. There are a few steps if you're using an on-premise FME server. You need to configure the config files on the back end just to get things up and running. So we do that for you on the FME Cloud Machine, but all you need to do is go to FMEpedia, click on FME Server Documentation, click on FME Server Reference Manual, FME Server Services, Notification Service, Publishers, because it's a publisher, email publisher, and then in here, this is where we walk you through configuring everything. Okay, so back to the FME Cloud machine. FME Cloud is just another way to deploy FME Server and it's hosted by ourselves. So, first thing you need to do is go to Notifications, and there's two ways you can configure FME Server to consume email. We're going to show you the first way to begin with. So, that's incoming using SMTP. So this uses an inbuilt mail server um, that ships with FME server. So you don't have to do anything here, you just launch the cloud instance and then you just come in here and you say I want to, what's the publication name, what topic do you want to send the information to. So you'll see in a minute when an email comes in the mail server basically strips all of the content out of the email and it forwards all that code, sorry it forwards all of the data to the topic um, in JSON uh, and then you have a workspace basically listening on that topic and, and it can cons consume the JSON and process it. So we want to do email SMTP and it's really as simple as just you know defining the name of the email address. So what this does here is you're putting in here the username for that email so in this case this will be something like this incoming at and then the host so you need to copy the host of your FME Cloud instance or your public facing FME server and then that becomes your email address. So we could call this test or admin or whatever we want to call it. But in this section we only need to, to enter the, the username. So let's call it admin. So I'll just copy that because that's the full one. And there we go. We only need to do admin there. So click OK. And that's it. We've set email up there. So what we can do now um, is go to the monitoring on this server uh, and this is just going to listen on this topic so we can help us debug and let's send an email in there. So I want to send it to admin at there, test email one, click, click send and this is going to send information um, to FME server via our inbuilt email server. So we should see in a second here JSON appear uh, where it says waiting for notification. So the email's gone uh, via the web to this FME server instance which is running a mail server and there we see it the mail server stripped out the contents of the email and it's passed the contents of the email um, in JSON to this topic. We then subscribe a workspace to listen on this topic and then we can do all of our processing. So it's really really powerful. So that's the first way you can do it. That's out of the box. You know completely out of the box. You don't need any other service or anything to do that. The second way to do it and clear that monitoring is to configure a publication that uses IMAP. So IMAP essentially allows you to plug in to other email service providers via this protocol and to, to basically watch inboxes of other email service providers. So let's just do this incoming IMAP and I'm going to just use Gmail because that's what we use here at SAFE. So again I'm going to pump the data to the sample topic and the protocol this t time is email IMAP. So when you select that, there's a whole bunch of things that pop down that you need to configure. Don't worry, it's relatively easy to do. So the email host, IMAP server host, where do you find that? Well, what we need to do, if you just Google IMAP, um, basically IMAP and POP3, uh, you come to this page here, uh, and then all you need to do is choose, I want to enable IMAP, and it walks you through how to do it. So it says sign into Gmail, click the gear in the top right and click settings and you need to then check your forwarding for IMAP. So you go in here, 
click settings obviously this is different for Yahoo or Outlook but you just you'll figure it out so IMAP is currently enabled on mine so that's all you need to see green IMAP is enabled uh, and then you can see here you can purge it if you want or you can leave it in the inbox you can do all sorts of things okay so I'm good I'm already set up um, but you need the connection details so all you have to do to get the connection details is um, I'm going to click other here this is the IMAP client it's left me server it's obviously not on the list but it tells you all of the details here so we need imap.gmail.com so copy that ports 993 SSL is yes so I'm going to go to here SMTP port uh, is 993 that's right and then we just need to enter our credentials obviously we need to authenticate or anyone could just set this up let's just type the password three okay so poll interval here this FME server is going to go out every minute every two minutes whatever you configure it so we'll say one minute and it's going to fetch the emails that have either come in or if they're unread so we'll say um, any unread emails um, because there should be some unread emails in here okay kind of safe that's good uh, and here you just configure where you want the attachments to go I'm just going to put them in um, temp so click OK and that's it as simple as that now everything's set up and it's going to poll every minute and you can see there it's instantly polled this is the first one we've got and Kenneth Safe um, was who it was from schedule workspace ran so that's this here um, okay so that's you know it's very very simple to do that uh, and then if you want to hook up a workspace and register a workspace with that topic you just need a text line reader in the workspace uh, and you can consume this information and so you can basically process incoming emails very very easily with FME server thanks